The origin of Apsara is the Sanskrit Apsaras in the stem form, which is the dictionary form. The stem form ends in letter S, as distinct from for center, the nominative singular Brahmas, Brahma, the deity from in Hindi, who stem from is Rama. The nominative singular from is Apsaras or Apsara when standing alone, which becomes Apsara in Hindi, from which in turn the English Apsara presumably is derived. Moni William Dictionary gives the etymology as going in the waters between waters of the clouds. The Riveda tells of the Napsara, who is the wife of Kandava. However, the rich Veda also seems to allow the assistance of more than one Apsara. The only Apsara specifically named is Uvasi, an entire hymn deals with the colloquy between Uvashi and her mortal lover Guru Faraz. Later in those scriptures allow the assistance of the numerous Apsaras who acts as the handmaidens of Indra or as dancers at his celestial court. In many of the stories related to the Mahabharata, Apsaras appear in important supporting grounds. The epic contains several lists of the principal Apsaras, which lists are not always identical. He is one such list, together with a description of how the celestial dancers appear to the residents and cast at the core of the gods. Vitachi and Menaka and Brahma and Uvachiti and Squayam Baha and Uvashi and Mikrakeshi and Tantakauri and Varutini and Gopali and Sahajana and Kuhayuni and Prajagara and Chitasena and Chitanika and Shaha and Mahurasavana. These are others by thousand possesses of eyes like lotus leaves who were employed in enticing the hearts of person practicing rigid austerities less than and possessing slim waist and fair lush hips. They began to perform various evolutions, sucking their deep bosoms and casting their glance around, and exhibiting other attractive attitudes capable of stealing the hearts and resolution and minds of the spectators. The Mahabharata documents the exploits of the individual Apsaras, such as Tilotama, who rescued the world from rampaging Asura, brothers Sunda and Upas Sunda, and Ufashi, who attempted to seduce the hero Arjuna. A story tough of them appearing over and over again in the Mahabharata is that an of an Apsara sent to distract a sect or spiritual master from his ancient practice. One story imparting this theme is that recounted by the epic heroine Sakutala to expand her own parentis. Once upon a time, the saga Visquamita generated such intense energy by means of his ascetism that Indra himself became fearful, deciding that the saga would have to be distracted from his penances. He sent the Apsara Menaka to work her charms. Menaka trembled at the talk of an entering such 
a powerful ascetic, but she obeyed the God's order as she approached Viswamitra, the wind god Vayu tore away her garments, seeing her dust dissolve, the sagar abandoned himself to rest. Nim and Saga engaged in sex for some time, during which Fisquamitra's acidity soon was put on hold. As a consequence, Menaka gave birth to a daughter, whom she abandoned on the banks of the river. That daughter was Sakutala herself, the narrator of the story.